Alright, hello everyone. This is going to be a tutorial on how to add additional interpolation layers to an animation. So let me, let me kind of show you what I mean. If you are using Toon Crafter to interpolate two frames, uh, it'll probably look something like this. And that's pretty good, but it doesn't loop, and I kind of want that. So I made this workflow where you can have up to three images, and it'll loop through them. But sometimes three isn't enough, so, I mean, let's take a look at two. two. And yeah, pretty good. I mean, it's still pretty consistent. It gets a little wonky, but, you know, it's AI. Let me just sync all these together. And you can see there's a little bit of smearing going on in the last one, uh, just because there is such a big difference between this last frame and the f oops, uh, this last frame and the first frame. We're still interpolating between them. So ideally, you would go back to this one uh, and then to the first one since this transition was pretty good. But um, I that just doesn't look good. It just looks like you reverse the video, like uh, an Instagram boomerang or something. So I didn't like that. Uh, but let's get into adding another one. So let's say I have another image that I want to load in. It's not, this uh, animation isn't going to be perfect because I couldn't find more than three that were like really consistent. Um, so this, this guy has a slightly different face and the lighting's a little bit different. He has kind of a yellower undertone instead of like a pinkish undertone. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get a good result out of this, but you can always just tweak the seed and uh, rerun it. But first things first, we'll go ahead and duplicate the batch images node. I'm just holding option on my keyboard to duplicate. That's alt on Windows. We'll go ahead and we'll grab our last image. We're also going to toss that into our second last batch images node. And you'll see that it removed our uh, connection for the first image. And that's actually going to be our last image now. So we'll drag image, the first one, uh, to, oops, we want that in the second hole. There we go. Uh, now we have our batch images all set up. Now we need another Toon Crafter interpolation. So I'm going to bring another one up here. Let me just close these real quick because they're a little distracting. I'm also going to need an, another VAE, so I'll grab that while I'm here. Toss that over there. We'll grab our model from over here. That's the clip vision. Um, and then this is the model. We'll grab our conditioning, so this is our positive conditioning, and our negative. One thing to note about the conditioning is that it really seems to like shorter prompts. Like, if you don't know what to put, doing an anime scene is pre pretty much, like, the go-to. That's what they used in the demo was an anime scene. Uh, but in this case, I used a man turning his head, and it seemed to work pretty well. I think adding man started making it blink, uh, so... That's something to keep in mind. But once we have that in there, we can move our sampler back down here. We'll toss in our images. And I have all of these set to the same seed, but you can, instead of fixed, you can do increment or like randomize or something. Randomize will just give you like different results. And this isn't the actual image seed because the images are already generated. I generated these images in a separate workflow over here. So you can see I just got a bunch of them from the same seed. But back to this. Once we have our uh, VAE decode, we can toss our latent into there. And this is an array of latents, so it's going to be our 16 frames, it looks like. Yeah, 16. That's what it was trained on. We'll need another batch images for actually appending the video to the previous one. So this is our previous animation and we'll put that into batch images and then we'll bring this one all the way up here and then we'll need another video combine. Okay. And with that, um, I'm pretty sure we're all done. 
only other thing to note before we actually run the workflow is that if your images aren't like 512 by whatever, then it's probably not going to run on my 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, I was running into the out of memory errors if I didn't resize the images down. Uh, but these are just natively 512 by 768. I didn't have to do anything to them. They're not high res fixed or anything. So I didn't need this image resize, but I left it here in case you do. And that is it. Let's go ahead and cue the prompt. Okay, it looks like that's finished, so let's take a look. If we open up all of these, uh, let's go ahead and sync the preview first. So overall, the looping one is probably my favorite still, even though it kind of has some like weird like warping and smearing going on, especially around the eyes. But I mean, it is it's it's kind of still magic. Like these are all still photos. And I mean, they weren't photos to begin with. They were AI images. So I don't know. This is really cool. Uh, I think there's still a lot to be done with Toon Crafter and Dynamic Crafter, those are both really awesome tools, and I think they might be even more versatile than Animate Diff, but I guess only time will tell. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.